Hello and welcome to Will It Fun Kids on Bikes Edition. Hello, everybody. Welcome here. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. Uh, let's go around the table. Introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Mr. Kaiba, and I am the GM for this evening. Uh, let's start with Sarah. I am Sarah from Thornhill Gaming. Gabriel Hurley, also from Thornhill Gaming. I am Michelle. I'm with Serenade Studios. And I'm Tyson. I'm just here. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. I love people who are just present. You know, it's just nice. Okay. Well, uh, speaking of present, we are going to talk about people who do not exist yet. Uh, each of you has a character sheet in front of you. Uh, these are available. Uh, we'll link in the description. Um, these are available as a free download from the uh, Hunter's Press website, uh, who publishes Kids on Bikes. And uh, generally speaking, the characters are either a child, a teen, or an adult. A child is uh, under 14, the teen is 14 to 17, then adult is 18 and up. I don't know why like 13 is technically a teenager, but considered a child for the purposes of the game. I think realistically it's like the division of middle school to high school. High school. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of the in terms of the flavor of the game, it's generally like the '80s vibe. So this is a this is a system that's really built on the the Stranger Things popularity wise. But uh, for those of us who have who like grew up with this stuff, it's like the Goonies. That's like real root, a core memory associated with this. So anything in that kind of vein is realistically an inspiration for this. So Kids on Bikes is really flexible in terms of what you what kind of stories you can tell with it so it could be super spooky it could be just like pirate treasure like the goonies it could be uh it could have like weird vibes it could have totally normal vibes it really is flexible depending on the kind of story that you're interested in telling um so let's talk about the characters uh so shell you've decided to play a child you yes. are the sole child amongst us uh everybody else is a teen uh, so Shell's going to be 12, and then Tyson? 17. 17, all right. 16. And? 15. All righty, cool. So that's important uh, because child uh, characters have a slightly different uh, makeup than teen characters. And again, all of this is really, it is very simple. One of the things I like about this, simple, uh, about this system is the simplicity of it. You don't roll for stats. You determine your stats based on the dice that you roll. So four dice, everybody has a set of their own. You have a D4, a D6, a D8, a D10, a D12, and a D20. So it's your standard seven set that you get at your game store minus the percentile die because you don't need it. So the way that you will choose your stats here, uh, we'll go over each of them, is you will simply take one of the, one of the dice that you have in your hand and you will put it in one of those boxes. And that's the die that you roll when that stat is referenced. So the six stats are fight, flight, brains, brawn, charm, and grit. And most of those are self-explanatory. Uh, grit, the uh, best way to talk about that is like, this is streetwise, this is, you've seen some shit and you can like handle yourself. This is keeping a level head. This is, uh, it's kind of intuition in odd circumstances. Um, that's the one thing that we don't realistically have is sort of that intuition skill, that perception skill. So if you encounter that kind of test, like this is again where the simplicity comes in. So I'll say, okay, cool, you want to do a thing. You say like, hey, I wanna check out this room. All right, how are you doing it? Tell me the skill you wanna roll, narrate that. This whole system is a real storyteller's dream. Uh, something that we talked about before we pressed record is that like the, the main part of the character uh, creation is going to be asking questions about each other. So it's all very improv -y. It's all like, cool, I know this thing about this, and none of it is pre-planned. All of this is just like, I'm coming up with this on the fly, and we're all going to agree that something is true, or we'll discuss how to massage it so it can, can feel more true. All right, so the, the characters... Uh, generally speaking, and we've discussed this all, but this is for those of you who are tuning in and totally unfamiliar about the system. Uh, characters are generally built over, uh, built on a trope, and this is just any of the tropes that you see in like '80s movies or honestly movies today that are 
talking about like teenagers and young kids. So you've got like your classic bully, you've got your jock, you've got your, um, one of the ones that's my favorite in the system is the brilliant mathlete. <laughs> and so if you Nerd. download, yes, max out brawn and fight. Right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So the way that these tropes work, uh, the way that the the downloadable, the free PDF works is that you can just grab that. You can say, I want to play a jock and you can use that character sheet and it's got everything on there for you already. Um, so it's really helpful. Uh, for the moment though, honestly, I'm, I want to see the kind of characters that you're into playing. I want to see how you like generate that personality, see who you are who you want to be in this and then we can just put the dice wherever we want like i think that that's just more fun and easy because you might be a brilliant mathlete but hey you're learning karate so your fight is actually <laughs> d12 um so i'd say the the thing that the book recommends is take your d20 and take your d4 and pick those two first like what is your best skill and what are you terrible at so I'm curious, yeah. uh, on the on the sheet, they're kind of like paired up, fight or flight, brains, brawn, charm and grit. Are these supposed to be opposing <clears throat> traits or can you be good at both of them? You can definitely be good at both of them. Okay. Um, yeah, the, they're, I think they're paired just because they've got like that thematic opposition, but it's not a realistic opposition. You can absolutely have like your D12 and your D20 right next to each other. And that's not a problem at all. Gotcha. And like fight versus <clears throat> brawn is fight is like actually like you're a good fighter versus brawn is you're just strong or athletic. That's basically correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's, uh, if you were to use like, I need to break down this door, I would say, all right, what's your brawn skill? Mm -hmm. Unless you're going to try to fight the door to death, in which case, <laughs> all right, tell me why that's an appropriate skill. The door and is a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I want the, I want clever solutions. So if you think of like, I'm going to brain the door down. I'm like, okay. Um, I think tell that's me called how. popping the hinges. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that would work. <laughs> Damn it, Sarah, already you're wrecking everything. I'm just pondering in the thing best way. to get to later, which is what's in your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if I'm great at fight and I carry like a, a bokan, a wooden sword with me? <laughs> <laughs> um, in your stats as well, uh, you'll see a little shadowy plus one in a couple of those. So teens have a plus in fight and brawn. Um, so it'll be a D... 12 plus one when you write write down your stat. Is it because um, teenagers are assholes? Yes, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, all were one at some point, so I think we're allowed to say that. <laughs> and, and what exactly would flight, is that kind of like like stealth or evasion in other systems? or like uh, So flight is, uh, is generally speaking how you how you get away from fight. Like if you're being attacked, you're like, all right, I'm going to run or it's your, mm. run away. <laughs> <laughs> it is run away. It is like a fleet of foot. It is also in this. I'm actually glad that you uh, brought this up. Um, flight is also in the, and this is according to the book. Flight is also how uh, mental quickness. So oh. you okay. can like, get out of a dicey situation by coming up with some cool idea oh, wow. on the fly. Okay. That yeah. just changed things a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, any questions about the other stats before you sort of dive into to picking them? Yeah, grip, grip was like, we already talked about it. It was like the I've seen some shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. I can awesome. keep it together. Awesome. Yep, and charm is, is convincing other people of things. Um, there are sort of other odd uh uses for charm like uh we can use that as an intuition if you're if you're collecting information based on information that you've got like we can talk about all of these in terms of usefulness but tyson you look like you've got a question no okay just you, absorbing it all. i love it <laughs> <laughs> all right so we play some dice now play some dice okay. do it all right, all right. <clears throat> all right. okay okay <laughs> First and last, chosen. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, so I see that Tyson and I are both not very charming. <laughs> <laughs> Charm was also my dumb stat when I was making a 12-year-old. A, a I got to play test this with Teenage us. boys aren't charming? What? Weird. What? <laughs> <Strain>. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so then um, the rest just sort of like fill in the edges. Try your your D12 and your D6, and then you've got your, or I'm sorry, your, yeah, your D12 and your D6, and then your D10 and D8. Just drop them in there how you feel sort of this person might be. Hmm. Done. I'm really conflicted as to whether charm or flight should be higher. So what kind of person are you talking about right now? Like band theater geek, but like the like protective of their friends worried about a lot of stuff kind of person. Gotcha. Gotcha. So it's definitely a person that would be getting out of a lot of things. Okay. We're okay. worried about a lot of things and how to get out of said things. Fair. It's, it seems Fair. sort of like, I mean, are you somebody who is really quick about like coming up with a solution or are you somebody who's more like i'm gonna get out of this by being more like social and talking my way out of it might be a way to look at that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then i'm gonna go um run run away run away is higher <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling about your choices tyson i, I think i like them all right cool did you i'm, I'm still thinking oh dang um, tyson's six right. up on the board all right <laughs> hmm. okay. shell talk all it right, out what are you torn so she is definitely like she's very brave like because she wants to prove that she's brave um she's you know the little tomboy girl that climbs trees and jumps off cliffs i can do it i swear yeah i can do it that's awesome okay <laughs> um so but i'm not sure if i should put higher in charm or in flight because I think she would try to. She would be really good at trying to talk her way out of things and and be cute and use the cuteness against people. I think we're mm -hmm. the opposite. I went higher in flight. I think you would probably be higher in charm. In charm. Yeah, okay. Like yeah. yeah. Like okay. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna do that. I like that. Uh, so Gabriel, tell us about your character a little bit. Because uh, you have a concept. Well, I mean, I think some of us are. Channeling a little bit of our uh, teenage <laughs> or childhood stuff. I know what you're talking about. Uh, no, when, uh, when I was when I was four, when I was in high school, uh, I played. I was, I was like a super nerdy kid, but I got a pass because I played bass in a rock band. So I was like <laughs> cool enough because I hung out with other cool kids and like knew all about music and stuff. So that's that's kind of my ethos here. I was always uh, pretty athletic, pretty strong, um, pretty quick-witted, so I, I t decided to put my top dice in flight, not because I'm good at like escaping stuff necessarily, but because mm -hmm. I'm quick to come up with a, an answer or a solution. Gotcha. Um, charm was definitely not my skill. Uh, I was <laughs> only, only tolerated by the popular kids because I was with the other popular kids. Um, so I leaned into a little bit of uh, brawn, a little bit of fight, brains kind of in the middle. Like, Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm liking this group here. Uh, so we've got we've got sort of a, a brainy uh, band nerd. Band nerd theater tech. Worried about everything. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the friend that when you tell me you're going to do something risky, I come to you with all the statistics and like ways that you should worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so like, do you know that if you do this, like 75% of people have these problems and you should really consider oh, strategies for all of these things? <laughs> Just saying. This was even worse in the 80s when the research was terrible. Terrible. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But the research all concluded that you could just get snatched at a mall. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Stranger danger. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, Gabriel, we've got, like, the kind of punky band guy. Yeah, I'm leaning a little, like, little more into, like... Rock band, almost punk. Yeah, probably probably uh, have some posters for some, like, hair metal bands on my wall, like an early Metallica, depending on what year we're in, yeah. that kind of thing. Pasture of Muppets, all that good. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got Shell, who's, like, a tomboyish, but char charming kid. I'm, I'm a tomboy jock, charming kid, but I'm the annoying little sister that has to go everywhere that there's traveling does, <laughs> regardless of whether they're wanted or not. That is that is fair. I've been that child. Um, yeah, I have an older brother. <laughs> I was real popular with his friends because I, I had to be because I was there in the room. <laughs> yeah, and, and like they the whole kill like, me. she has to prove that she's she can do it, so that she can prove to her sibling that her sibling doesn't have to take care of her. And yeah, right on, right on. Okay. 
I like this. And one of your siblings is here at the table. We haven't figured that we out. We haven't figured quite that yet. out yet. So then, and Tyson, you've you've talked to me about your yeah yeah, and this this fascinates me. I I love where this is going. Yeah. So I'm doing the uh, creepy goth kid that has spent way too much time reading H.P. Lovecraft and reading uh, Aleister Crowley. Yes. And he thinks that you know all of that is. It's actually real, you know. It's <laughs> the government, the the uh, teachers, they're all lying to you. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> I can see you in a haze of clove smoke outside of a coffee shop. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he thinks he's cool. <laughs> he's not. But he thinks he is. It's like you got a blank leather-bound notebook that you just like stand on corners leaning against the wall. You like think about writing in it, but... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's some poetry. I don't know. Are you poetry and po- no. Um, or more manifestos. So- yeah. yeah. Manifestos and songs. Oh, um, oh yeah. That are really bad. Yes. <laughs> yes. But he thinks are just the coolest. And one day they're going to be on the radio, except the man is not going to let him. I think he might be looking for a vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love all of this. This is fantastic. Okay, so uh, so we have we have a general idea of who our people are. Uh, we won't have to get into names quite yet uh, or decide who's related to whom because um, we're going to talk about the town for a little bit. Mm. So the the book has a whole list of questions that you can ask about the town uh, either during the game or the GM can just like dictate what that is or you can email folks in advance and say like you answered this question you answered this question and then collate it later there are lots of w- different ways to sort of figure out the place that you are in but the whole idea is that it is a collaborative effort to understand you know where you all grew up where you all live now. Uh, the things that I have told you so far are we are in Colorado, a small town car- called Carter, which is totally fictional. There isn't one. I checked like Google Maps four or five times. <laughs> I was like, sure, does it exist? Are you sure? It-? Okay, it doesn't. Um, so Carter, Colorado, about 5,000 people, something like that. Um, it's a few hours away from, oh, probably Boulder. Uh, it is nestled in the Alpine. Wait, which direction from Boulder? Yeah, That's very relevant. <laughs> <laughs> it's very relevant. Uh, whichever way goes kind of into the mountains, but not like too, too far, far up. So southwest-ish. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so saith the people from Colorado. <laughs> yes. Uh, we are blessed to have two of them at the table. Thank I, you. For... I was there a lot as a kid. <laughs> in Boulder. In oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. All right. All right. And I grew up in a town about that size. So, yeah. Nice. Well, hey, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> if this brings up any issues, like we we'll can talk about it. Yeah. after with tea. After okay. Games. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you start to hyperventilate and just need to lay down, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> we, we laugh, but safety tools are very important yes. at our table. Yes. <laughs> and everybody has consented to be here and it's fine. Yes. <laughs> there are brown paper bags available in the next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny that you say that because literally the first, so there's the table of contents. Oh, in this is the book. Uh, for kids on bikes and it's super pulp art 1980s comic book style it's great stuff the cover features kids on bikes it does actual bikes and kids weird Uh, it's got like a little intro comic with a spooky story (laughs) Uh, and then the first page of text is called setting boundaries nice and it's yeah it's really it's written by people who clearly care about Everybody's going to have a good time and nobody's going to enforce their will upon anyone unless it's in the positive storytelling way. Um, so, Except for the fact that you have to have a good time. You <laughs> must have a good time. Damn it. Um, <laughs> we're not going to go that far. That was weird. I hope <laughs> <not>. <laughs> okay. I will allow you to have a bad time if you must. That's definitely what I'm talking about. Very generous of you. You're welcome. Uh, So uh, let's talk about the town. Uh, Carter, Colorado, 5,000-ish people, a couple of hours away from a major metropolitan area. This is also in 1983, so we had no internet. Um, We have... I'll talk about this in more detail, but 
some this is this is one of the fun things that I like about uh, about doing like historical research is what were the movies that were released that year that we oh, might nice. enjoy. <laughs> um, so the story that we're taking uh, that we're experiencing is taking place on Christmas Eve, nineteen eighty three. Um, the month prior, a Christmas story came out in theaters. Nice. <laughs> Other movies that year, Scarface, you may have watched it. <laughs> uh, War Games, beautiful. Uh, the Right Stuff, fine God. space movie. Um, Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, Risky Business, uh, Flashdance. We had two. This is not the strongest year for movies. No. <laughs> Flash I mean, a couple Dance? of those are pretty good, but. Some of them were good. But some of them are also like. They're lovable, but not good. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Uh, horror had a big year. Dead Zone, Cujo, Christine, like Stephen King okay. specifically. Yeah. Sleepaway Camp, if you've ever seen that. <laughs> oh, that's a whole other... Something wise. Wicked This Way Comes. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh, yeah. That was, oh. Right in the feels. Uh, and most notably, Return of the Jedi. Oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. They're usually like, oh, we just brought the bar up. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, lots of great there. music. None of which I'm going to be able to reference because it's all copyrighted. Well, I'm not going to reference it, but like, <laughs> it was good. you can say the names. I can say the things. names. Good. Okay, yeah, thank God. Uh, Thriller came out. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lionel Richie had a couple of good ones out there. Yeah. It's just like, just get like the, be- the hits of 1983. It's, it's a playlist on Spotify. Like, oh yeah, it's some good stuff. It's really also some not good stuff. Yeah, actually, that, that works out because I think Slash played on some of that album. Like, yeah, he played on like Beat It. On Lionel Richie? No, no. Oh, okay. Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, that was a crossover I did not expect. <laughs> I mean, that would I would love to hear that too. <laughs> no, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe in this universe. <laughs> Lionel Richie got to him first. <laughs> No. <laughs> wow. Oh wow! Oh, no. Yeah, that's that's a that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> okay, I gotta come back from that. Excuse me. <laughs> Just like off in the distance. Come back, come back, come back, come back. <sighs> Here we are, Carter, Colorado. Okay, um, so there's one thing that I would tell you. Um, a, a lot of the questions are about like, what is the town best known for? What are some of the weird things about the town? Where are some super cool highlights? Um, so as we're talking about it. Uh, the town and the the characters and relationships to each other, like feel free to just like throw out nouns of like, oh, that bookstore, that blah, blah, blah owns, that kind of thing. Um, most important, I need to know, well, I don't know if this is most important, but what is your school's mascot? Let's start with that. Y'all go to high school? This place is like the high school. There are like 700 kids, something like that. I, I was that. originally homeschooled. I didn't have a mascot. You guys? <laughs> um, I'm not going to... S- Our mascot was the Trojan. Oh. The Trojan? <laughs> I mean, my high school mascot was a yellow jacket, so I don't think we're going there. Um, uh, mine yeah. was the Cowboys. The Cowboys? We could also just go something really generic, yeah. like the Grizzlies or yeah. the Bears. <clears throat> um, Skyhawks. By the way. Wolverines. <laughs> yeah. Wolverines. Yeah. Oh, there, you go. Wolverines. Oh, there we go. All right, the Wolverines. All right. Is it the is it is there an adjective involved? Are they the fighting wolverines? The mauling wolverines. <laughs> the mauling wolverines. <laughs> no, I think they're just the wolverines. The wolverines are right, dumb. The Done. flowing wolverines. <laughs> the frolicking wolverines. <laughs> the dancing wolverines. <laughs> <laughs> the eviscerated. <laughs> um, a few very basic things to know about the town um, uh, before we start to like. We'll get the frame and then we'll start painting. Um, The town was originally founded around a nickel mine in the mid 1880s. And then the nickel mine, the nickel mine closed in the late 1880s. And then they shifted to uh, timber. So we're, it's a lumber town. Lots of, lots of wood crafting, carpentry, good stuff like that. So there's not a whole lot here. Like you have to drive maybe five miles to get to the to the nearest main thoroughfare uh, and then that'll take you off to boulder uh, so it's a little off the beaten path but there's still some cool stuff here so like what kind of cool stuff might be in carter colorado like what might it be known for the ice skating rink the ice skating rink nice best, and- best christmas tree lot in uh, the entire <clears throat> county mm. mm-hmm. yeah yeah like 
And while the uh, football team is no good, the hockey team is actually pretty good. Uh, Ooh, nice. yes. Yeah. There's also a sweet record store. What's it Not called? Not known for that, but... Okay, give me a minute on that. Come back. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I still have to wrap. <laughs> Hockey's good. Football bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ice skating rink. Christmas tree lot. Yep. Nice. Uh, what are some of the weirder spots that you've seen I was out go there? With you spin me right round, but I don't know what year that song came out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was an influence. You know <laughs> sure, it's a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, yeah, it was. They claim it later. It was named for that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Um. What's some weird stuff? Yeah, so it's like, oh, those those places like off the beaten path. You're like, oh yeah, I've heard of that, or I've been there. Um, like broken down stuff, weird things, weird people. So there's the uh, lookout that uh, you can see the old uh, mine entrance where it's collapsed, and you know <laughs> all the kids like to go play in the uh, the entryway, dare each other to go mm-hmm. into the mine mm-hmm. shaft. Mm-hmm. Yep, definitely for sure. Yep, because you know it's haunted. Yep, yep. totally, totally. Yep. Do you know the statistics on like the collapse of mine shafts and how you should definitely be careful while playing in this? <laughs> getting a head injury, like wear a hard hat. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but really, it, it, it's the spirits and the creatures inside the mine that you really got to worry about. That, that's mm. not funny. There is, there is totally an abandoned nickel smeltery. I don't know what the foundry. Fr- foundry. Foundry. There yes. we go. Yeah. Abandoned foundry. Mm. All right. I love it. Very cool. Very cool. There's a little bookstore, but it's in a house. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's not on the main drag. Like, it's in somebody's old house, and you have to know somebody to know somebody (laughs) to be able to get there because the old lady who runs it is really scary. Okay. Do you need, like, a password or something? Or is it just, like, you wouldn't know otherwise? It's Crowley. (laughs) (laughs) self (laughs) no that's the password oh (laughs) uh so is this a place that y'all have been bookstores in in small towns fascinate me because yes, like i have fully spent time there oh, oh yeah. yes i'm All right. sure that we run into each other there in totally different sections <laughs> <laughs> um okay so who's this old lady what's this place's na- this place's name this is this is a, a clearly a core element to some of your characters so i love digging into this kind of stuff well, I think lavinia it- pearsley damn i'm into it <laughs> my into first it. thought for name was something something like uh through the looking glass down the rabbit hole. Oh, I like down the mm, rabbit hole. Down the rabbit yeah. hole. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Short to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the hole? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta get some fresh books out of the hole. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, okay. I love Could it. I love it. Lending for a <laughs> 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 just borrow from the hole. <laughs> She's the she's like It the, is also a used bookstore, so they do rotate through things so you can also buy and sell from the hole. If you, if you stare too hard in the hole, does the hole look back? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, the lady who Lavin, Lavinia? Is that what you Lavinia. Said? Lavinia. Um That's good. she's like one it. of the oldest residents in town. And she could tell you some stories. Yes. If you're yes. strong enough to listen. <laughs> was she alive when the, the nickel mine, mine was still was active? Still People were um, According to the stories, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. If she's, say, in her 90s, then she would have been a, she would have been a young lass. Your age. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. It was like, wait, are you, what? What? Oh. No. Ah. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the, the mine closed down in 1989 because I wrote a whole thing on this. I'm sorry. Stop me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the mine closed down in 1989. Wait, um, 1889? 1889. Yeah, 18, I was like, yes. that's wrong. Six you know. years in the future. <laughs> <laughs> mine is healthy. <laughs> it's a nickel mine. No lumber at all. You don't um, get your nickel back. Oh! Get out! You get one. You get one, and you just used it. <laughs> oh my god! 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> on we go. Okay. So uh, when we when we uh, when I play tested this with our friends Kathy, Tony, and Emily, um, we spent like two hours doing character creation because we could not freaking stop ourselves. It was beautiful and i'm not going to do that uh because <laughs> that's not what this is about so uh everybody uh look to your right and you tyson look across the table oh. at sarah <laughs> uh, so decide if you know that person or if you don't know that person i don't think i know you you don't think you know her okay i mean i may have seen you around but so then we know that you two aren't related. Yeah, yeah. Whose sister are you going to be? The Crowley guy, the band geek, and the band theater tech nerd, or him? Like, or, I'm thinking maybe you, maybe me. because I'm the complete opposite of you. That's legit. <laughs> that, makes, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I think I probably know who he is i i definitely know who yeah run it with like if you're also theater i'm tech oh so, yeah and then mm. bookstore we've definitely run into each other we might not know each other well but we know each other oh yeah absolutely yeah. okay yeah. so the reason i'm asking Wait, this specific you, question i don't know uh is that you will be rolling on a different table depending on whether or not you know the person or you don't know the person there are three tables here uh you'll roll a d20 um, two of the tables are if you know somebody. One of the tables is if you don't. That makes sense to me. And then the knowing tables are split into positive things that you know about this person and negative things you know uh, about this person. Uh -huh. okay. So those are things that we're going to dig into gently because don't want to spend forever on this just enough to get us going. Uh, so you do not... Uh, so Gabriel, you do not know Shell's character. Shell... You kind of know, kind of know. So, do I need to be more specific than that? No. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've established that Tyson, you know Sarah's character, and then Sarah, how about Gabriel? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of what kind of things are you like into? I mean, music. I'm in a band. Kind of smart. Okay. I've probably I've probably seen you around, but I don't think I know you very well. You might be in like a class together yeah. or something. Yeah. I think we I, we've got a class together. Okay. We sat next to each other in something. <clears throat> and then, all right, so then we're going to say that you don't know Gabriel. Gabriel doesn't know Shell. Shell, yes, knows. Uh, and then Tyson, you know uh, yeah. Sarah. Great. No one knows who I am. <laughs> you know, I've been in a class with him. Would you classify that as knowing him or not? If we sat next to each other in something, would we know each other or not? Hmm. Um, let's say people about, who went to normal school. How do you feel about music? I'm into music. I mean, then we probably talk about yeah. some music. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here's a, a random question because it will be brought up as a side note. Um, are any of you in the high school choir? No. No. I'm not a performer. Mm, I hadn't decided what my... I, in real life, I played bass in a band. I'm not sure if that's like... Probably not the singer, but do I sing? I might sing. Should I roll for it? Sure. Apparently I sing. All right. So you are in the choir. Cool. Right on. Um, well, let's... Uh, so yeah, then we've fully like run into each other. Band and choir probably did some stuff definitely. overlapping. Yeah. All right. So we got a, I know you, I know you, I don't know you, I don't know you. I know everybody at the table. Hey, you do. That's true. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's start with the don't knows. Gabriel, why don't you uh, roll a d20 for me? I would love to. It's a one. Now a one. One. Beautiful. Get that out of the way now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what good thing have you heard about Shell's character that you can't believe is true? Like, you probably heard it from Sarah's character, or you probably heard it from maybe a parent who was talking... Mm. Jeez, good I, thing that's hard to believe. Yeah. Um, and if you like, uh, would you like to do these one at a time rapid fire, or do you want to roll, get all yeah, the questions? Yeah, why, why don't we get all the questions so we all have a moment to think? Yeah, think. yeah, yeah let's idea. do that. All right, so Shell, roll about Tyson, same table. You'll re-roll a one. Six. Six? Oh, 
Oh. 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 Why is this character's family so important in town? Okay. Hmm. Oh. So you have a family of importance, you weird goth That makes that tracks out. Yeah. Yeah. Track. <laughs> oh my god, are you a preacher's son? That would also track. What kind of things are you good at? <laughs> like, you have a talent or something? Okay, Tyson. Um, oh. Let's roll... Uh, just roll a d20. If it's odd, it's a negative. Oh, okay. If it's okay. even, it's a positive. It. And then you roll again. It's an out one. <laughs> okay, so roll that again, and now we'll get the question. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> How far would you go to avoid being alone with Sarah's character? Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that, I like that little cheek thing you did there. Like, kind of wobbled your glasses. That was like, <laughs> <laughs> <it> intentionally. <laughs> oh my, that's Wait, a that's a wild mean? one. Um, let's mine? do a, let's do a positive one for you just so we can okay. not have just weird and negative. <laughs> hey, I've got a great yeah. one for her. Well, that's true. That's true. You do. Um, then we'll do positive anyway, just for fun, and then maybe we'll switch it up. Go ahead and roll the d twenty. Thirteen. Thirteen. What about Gabe's character? always makes you happy <laughs> oh, okay yeah this is like these aren't just filler fluff questions these are like oh we have some kind of relationship or i feel oh, this I, way about person my answer could become relevant depending <laughs> what happens in the story too. <laughs> <laughs> Got my answer now. i <laughs> hope to use it um okay tell me tell me the answer so i have i have heard that uh shell's little 12 year old 12 year old right mm -hmm. character set the state record for long jump Oh. Ooh! Yeah. All right. All right. I, I'm down for that. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Hard to believe. Could be true. Could be true. Yeah. It could very well be true. Okay. Um. How about you? Do you have an idea of uh, of Tyson's family? I think his family is one of the bigger lumber company owners. Mm. Like okay. They own like the conglomerate <clears throat> that owns like several. Mm. Of the... So he's a rich kid. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Is that a track for you? Sure. That oh, works. Okay. Oh, yeah. He can absorb that, become yeah. that. All right. You have resentment for your parents. It's great. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. So, uh, Tyson, how, how far would you go to avoid being alone with Sarah? <laughs> so, I'm going to put a, a little bit of spin on this. Yeah. I think my character has a bit of a crush on her. But doesn't like does everything yeah. he can to avoid her. Can't be in love. <laughs> no, because yeah. <laughs> oh, your heart I is am frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I am oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. And I do everything in my power to keep you oblivious because I don't want anyone to know. What you don't know is I wouldn't know even if you told me. Is your aversion more of like it, what Kai said of like you're, you're just trying to keep your emotions bottled up or is it more of a philosophical that like love is like the drug of the bourgeoisie ah. or something? <laughs> Little a column A. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, Sarah, what about Gabriel's character roles? He always makes you happy. Mm. Oh man. I'm trying I'm like I'm like does she does she kind of have a little crush or is it is it like just a like wow your answers are always really smart and that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Only you can choose. Teenage Sarah thinks like you probably you probably do this this thing where you like rake your fingers through your hair in this one way and it's just like always makes me smile. Oh, I've definitely got some long hair yeah. going. Yeah. On. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. And in Colorado, like the moisture just like sets it just right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like got the perfect humidity for your kind of hair. I grew up in Alaska, so I I, I was fortunate actually. I had some really beautiful mid length hair oh, at man. the time. Yeah, pictures of that. I need to see that. Yeah, <laughs> I do somewhere. I do somewhere. Yeah. Um, Has icicles in it when you go to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Little frost just gives it a sparkle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, everybody, roll a d six, and I want the two highest. You get one more question. Nope. Six. 
Two. Three. Two. Okay. Six and three. Uh, so we're going to reverse direction. And do you know her? Um, like how much does Sarah talk about her little sister? I think I could identify her. Okay. But okay. I don't think I've really spent any time with her because I'm always trying to avoid Sarah's character. So. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, why don't you roll a d20? We'll just see which, which question is more interesting. And Sarah, go ahead and roll a d20 about Tyson's character. 20. Tw- oh, damn. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, oh, that's a gimme. <sighs> this is rough. Okay. I'm going to read you all three questions because this might be difficult. We honestly might have to re-roll and that's totally fine. Um, Let's pretend you know her and it's positive. What item did this character give you that you treasure? Uh (laughs) Or know her and negative. How did this character betray you the last time you confided in them? Or... I think if you you tried to be not alone with me, you wouldn't have confided anything in me. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Or a character you don't know. Why... And this is why I say it's a gimme. Why don't you want to associate with this character? Yeah, Yeah. that that one is a gimme. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go to... I mean, a weird treasured item could work. A w- weird treasured item could work. I don't know what you feel. You want to re-roll? Or you can re-roll. I think I'll re-roll. Yeah, Just... do it. Oh, God, that's <laughs> That is a beefy is die. It? Yeah. yeah. So 16. 16. Okay. Like gothic level, like <laughs> metallic, like yes. framed in. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, got it. What terrible loss did this character suffer? Mm. Was it my death? <laughs> <laughs> it will be. Sarah, I rolled a two. You rolled a two. Okay. That okay. would be amazing if the question is what terrible loss will this character suffer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was it his, it's his, what, char- what terrible loss does his character suffer? Or does her does character suffer? Her character suffer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a fun one. What secret are you keeping from this character that you would be devastated if they found out oh secret i'm keeping from you yeah Ooh. all right marinating mm. okay mm. tyson tell us a little bit about shell's character so i'm thinking at some point like maybe a group project or whatever uh sarah's character was somewhere near my place and the sister was tagging along of course yeah with her uh, very favorite pet gerbil that oh. got out and oh. found its way into my uh, snake's cage. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Better than the vacuum cleaner. Oh, oh man. No. Ooh. Oh. Brutal. Did she <laughs> know? Um, I think it just went to uh, live on another farm. The farm of yeah. state. Yeah. yeah. Oof. In okay. upstate Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Where the gerbil farms are. <laughs> yeah, believe it. Okay, so um, there's some story there on how, <laughs> how that happened. <laughs> but you had a gerbil once. I had a gerbil and, and it ran away. I'm so sorry to hear that. That must have been devastating. Sarah, what's the oh, secret? God. A secret that I wouldn't want him to know. Oh no, help. Helped help. Um, so you're both in theater together. Are there any yeah. other clubs that you're into? I mean, aside from running into each other all the time at the bookstore. Okay. Okay. So then maybe there's something about one of those things like... I am obsessed with romance novels. I was just going to say <laughs> that exact same thing. <laughs> Not where my brain was. <laughs> but dear God. I, like it. I like it. I like it. That's perfect. <laughs> And and given the type of person he is, that would be incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> I feel like that's an appropriate teenage level secret. I, Absolutely. I, yeah. I like no, it. I'm into yeah. this. This is great. Was Danielle Steele authoring in the in the eighties? I don't know. I believe uh, so. It's been a long time. She she's been prolific. Yeah. I mean, we can internet about that during the break. Indeed. Yeah. That's- but that, like I feel like Danielle Steele has this foreverness, yes, this yeah. eternalness about it. Yeah. Her. Anyway. Um, okay. Always so. Always and always shall be. Yes. <laughs> the endurance of steel. The ones in future romance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, 
realistically, we could do this and it could be like our whole session zero in the test game was this. We were going to play and we were just like, <laughs> no, we're going to we're going to push to another night. We're just going to keep going. Nice. Uh, it was it was really delightful. Wow. So, yeah, this is the extremely truncated version. Extremely truncated <laughs> version. Um, all right. So uh, does anybody have any questions about the biz currently i we, we will have a break in a minute and then you can come up with like your final character name I was gonna say, are we gonna business. get into yeah, fear are we gonna hobby flaw that's an excellent question okay so fear hobby flaw Strength. those are all lovely lovely things and we're not going to touch them so oh, the okay. mm. wow i mean if you want to we can it's going to be uh, fear can be interesting but we can come up with that over the break as well um unless you have an idea about it right now do you, Gabriel? No, Do you no. know what you're afraid of? <laughs> Tell me. Are we messing with any of this? I mean, my hobby <laughs> is definitely like playing whatever instrument that I play. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, also, uh, yes, strength is something that you'll... Is hmm. dying in obscurity of fear? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's sure. I, I can find use for that. Yeah. <laughs> See also I'll, I'll reasons I moved out of the place I was originally living. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, let's talk about strengths though because strengths will have a mechanical aspect to them um, but I've told the, the folks here to just talk about what their character would be there's a whole list of strengths um, each of which has an in-game effect um, but because I don't want folks to determine what those strengths are because of the effect I'm telling them just tell me what your character what your strength is. Uh, teens, by default, get rebellious, which gives you uh, bonuses when you are resisting the, or when you are in conflict with adults. Um, the child gets the automatic strength of quick healing, healing. which is you, you're basically made of rubber, which, is, which makes a lot of sense for your character. It so, does. I already know what I would pick. Tell me what it's you'd pick. Protective. Protective. Nice. I was thinking either cool under pressure or maybe I mean, what is lucky? Um, do you want to know what lucky does? I, I mean, I don't. I, not, not necessarily. We don't need med meta game. I'll just I'll take cool under pressure. Cool under pressure. All right. I think I'm gonna do heroic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leading to my protective. <laughs> Get out of the street! That's why I make her nervous. <laughs> this 12 year old's got her back. I'm gonna take care of it. <laughs> Tyson, what do you think? I think I'm gonna go prepared. Ooh, prepared. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, the uh, last thing on your sheet, uh, well, it says there's a spot for adversity tokens, but we don't have those yet. Um, and I'll tell you what they're for and how to use them when we get into the game. Um, and then the, you have a big red backpack. And that is literally what is in your backpack or on your person in your big 80s puffy pockets. Uh, so... We'll take that over the break, but just consider like, okay, 1983, um, I will give you, I will tell you where you are going. I will tell you sort of the intro to this. Um, you have all been either you have volunteered, you have been voluntold, or you are doing penance. You will, uh, you will decide and we will um, arrange that during the break. And you are all part of the elf crew. <laughs> That is, it's kind of like Meals on Wheels, Christmas version, uh, but you need to report to the high school where you will be given the sleigh upon which are wrapped gifts that you will be taking to families and individuals in need. So that is what, that is what your evening is going to be about. And the things that you think like, okay, cool. Well, Carter's kind of a big spread out town. We might be going like out in the boonies it's a possibility no idea that's what you're preparing for and that's what you'd leave the house to do uh something else to that i will ask you all during the break is tell me what your family makeup is uh and that's what's your parental structure siblings and stuff and if it's generally positive or negative uh l'oreal I was, my brain was in the same way. <laughs> <laughs> cover girl <laughs> easy breezy beautiful I mean, you are cool under pressure. <laughs> it's like you got that nice matte finish going on. 
Okay. Just gonna get a quick glow up in. And while you redo your makeup, any other questions before we take a little break? No, we're no. good. Excellent. All right, cool. We will see you in the actual play. <laughs>